I like that name, by the way, Will Pickles. Don't like Pickles much. I like the name. Though. I'm not a huge fan of Pickles either. We're going PS2. I like the stage. Just a little bit. Uh, analytically, though, uh, good for good for Sheik, I want to say. Uh, Pretty good. Yeah, good good for Ouija. He has a lot of ground that he can just slide. Uh, oh wow, wow that that was potential to be a dead fox. If he uh, if he challenged the Firefox, I think he, he would have won. Oh, oh no, gets... no, Renzo gets stuck under the lip. Yeah, it's not not stage. too good. I think this is good stage for uh, Gandorf too, because his up air covers the uh, should cover the whole platform if he uh, spaces it right. Right. And he can get tech reads into the uh, fair. He just doesn't have the speed. Like if you're good at like manipulating wavelands to get across the stage faster, that's really all the mobility you really got. Yeah. Well, I think the stage is actually like decent for waveland mobility. Oh, like, it yeah. is. It is. You just have to know how to use it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, implement it. Definitely. Yeah, you definitely gotta space a lot of it. But with Ouija, like it, it's not that hard. You go half screen with one wave back. Right. Of course. Whoa. Okay. We're switching between Seek and Zelda right now. Probably try to help recover. Yeah, uh, my, uh, probably an accident since he switched right back. Oh, okay. All right, that's a uh, Renzo dead after uh, Sheik back air. All right, this is looking a lot less convincing than our last game. Their last set. Uh, uh, it seems uh, Lauren and Renzo are down. Uh, at least for the moment, only one stock though. Uh, Renzo is get oh, wow. and now they have the lead because of that double up smash by uh, by ten, yeah. By ten, yeah. What are you gonna do when the fox comes to you? What you go? What you go? All right. Floaty boys, floaty boys. What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do when the fox comes to you? Isn't like Fox not even that good against Floaty characters now? That song doesn't make too much sense. Yeah. Oh wow, he just shines Spike. Well, I mean, what, like up smashes? Up to the first? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. The Floaty Killers. Yeah, I forgot. Fox has all the bad matchups and none of them at the it, same time. It's when you're floaty and heavy, then it kind of, the, the up over it doesn't really work. Day to day. Or D to D, sorry. Yeah, Ganon, in the a sense, like. I feel like just Ganon's jump is floaty. It's not. He can not floaty. No, he's heavy. Oh yeah, he's heavy. He's floatier than you know most. Well, yeah. In PM, it's kind of harder to find like floaty because there's so many different like character weights and, and pulse speeds. Yeah, yeah. It's not as like uh, like defined as in melee. Also, because there's much more like viable characters. Oh in, yeah. Uh, PM, so. That's one of the reasons I, I kind of prefer PM. Oh, she, she, Lauren just sat there as uh, she recovered. There could have been an optimal punish. Or at least like a shine down. Uh, Alright, stopping from Rims is going to take out Sheik. Alright, it's now. Old. Okay, don't get caught by that. He's just trying to charge up the misfire. Yeah. Oh, just ran in there. Try really engaging the tip for it. Ooh, and dead Nice BB. up here from Renzo. Right. Renzo and 10, take game one. Take game one. Taking it, taking it. Updating this, updating it. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me more than five <laughs> times. I can get it. <laughs> All right. I'm getting blown up. Oh dang it! Hit by I have to text my mom. Oh, God. God, I have to have the car home by 11. No. <laughs>
You too. You too. Wait, how, where did you come from? Uh, it's that. It's inside uh. Oh, this all the way. Oh, other setup. Yeah, it's that setup all the way. Oh, back. it's really okay. loud. Whoops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's supposed to what? mute? Oh, all right. Man. So we got uh, battlefield team combos. All wall spike. Whoa. Yeah, Renzo got stuck out there and dipped too too far low with the dummy. Oh, tries to get the jab reset with uh, on Fox, but uh, misreads the tech. Battlefield is one of those stages where it's like, um, kind of like that statement where all else considered equal, this and that is going to be the factors that most, you know, decide the match. Yeah. That's kind of what Battlefield is, to just make everything in terms of like stage as equal as possible, to where just things such as player skill and team synergy just matter more than like, say, how yeah. the stage is laid out. Because you're going to see... I definitely don't think that's sing it, like, it's like that in singles though. Cause I guess not. Mar Marth versus Fox is gonna go way better for Marth on FD than it will uh, Battlefield. Just for the fact. No, that well, I mean, no right. Map. But then, like, that's why you have stuff, things like Battlefield to go to to try to equalize everything. Oh, oh like, yeah. Equalize stage. It might have been like common sense. I just wanted to. Figure it out. Oh yeah, I I I get what you you mean. Now. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does seem like a. Equalizer, where no no one's really too OP on the stage. No. All right, we got that fair. Is he gonna get this ledge guard? No. Switches to Zelda. Oh, but Luigi misses the stage. That's it. Because like both Fox and Ganon have their stages. That they're considered like really good on, where someone like Luigi might not just like, just have that luxury of like saying, "Oh yeah, that's a Luigi stage," you know? Because people don't really think of it in that sense. So that's gonna frame how you know you decided to, to you know choose your counterpicks. Yeah, I think uh... it's more like let me not give them the chance to just go all ham on me. Yeah. Um, instead of like, you know, let me try to go to a stage that's like good for me, because a lot of it is just like, you know, that defensive mindset. Of, I'm just gonna stop them in their tracks instead of trying to push for it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what happens when an unstoppable object meet, you know, meets an yeah, immovable yeah. force? Or whatever, oh, an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Yeah. You wanna just be that immovable object. I actually thought about that. <laughs> And my conclusion was that it would just bounce. It would just bounce off. Bounce? Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Or it's the world would just end. <laughs> that's not happening, I guess. One of the conditions for an uh, immovable force and unstoppable, or an un immovable object and unstoppable force are going to meet, that's probably grounds for like everything else in the world is happening. We're going into an apocalypse. <laughs> well, I mean, either, either that or the... Uh, Unstoppable force will just shatter and all the remnants will just keep going in, this, in different directions. But it, it comes to that thing like it's it's unstoppable, but that means it can, it can still like slow down. It just it can't reach zero. So does it think that when it like either bounces off it or shatters, do yeah. the shards do do they ever reach zero or when it? I think the better question was like uh, when it like. Uh, it, more in the sense of it bounces. Like, is there ever a point where, in between, when it hits and starts to like go backwards, does it ever reach zero within that like second? So, yeah, I don't know. That's it's just my brain working. Also, like 10:30, and I am tired. Yeah, I'm tired too. Sorry, we just only well, well Pickles and Sorry won that match. Yeah. So it's now 1-1. Uh, one, one. <laughs> one, one. Really just want to snipe somebody with this airman. No, no, I feel bad. Alright, he's uh, switched back to Sheik. Not going to go with uh, Zelda. Found a stream. Found a dream is a more like restrictive stage. It's smaller. <laughs> Again, more to where uh, Renzo and Ten are going to uh... gonna rely on the platforms to mess up their opponents. Isn't the stage banned in doubles? Doesn't it lag? No, they fixed it. Yeah. Oh, they fixed it. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh wow. Just <laughs> mid dunk, he just stops. Ah, oh, good ledge guard. That's a quick two stocks off uh, Fox again. Fox is not gonna have the easiest time up smashing characters to death though. Yeah. Because of the high ceiling, but um, I'm sure they uh, they're knowledgeable in their counter pick. They they they're gonna they're just gonna try to get their um, characters die from the sides. Yeah. Not the biggest side lesson. Nice good force smash. Yeah, good read on that. Does it like change like the trajectory of the force smash in PM? Um, if you, in this if version? you tilt it. If you tilt it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cause it seems like, no, it just seems like, um, they like, they like took Ganon's like Warlock Punch animation and, and gave it to force smash. So like, um, the trajectory, like the knockback trajectory is much more like horizontal. Whereas in melee, when you hit people with force smash, it send them upwards more. Yeah, so they, like, they well, all, I, I'm, all I'm saying is that, like, since that force smash was more like a horizontal trajectory, it killed Luigi off the side, or it might not have been melee. That's what I'm saying. Well, Ganon's a much better character in this game. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Oh, good uh, upbeat and knock cheek off the game ledge, ledge. God, that was a really good stock off uh, Fox. Now Ganon has to take out five stocks. So this is this is definitely hard. Wow. When did uh Will or Sorry switch to uh Zelda? Oh, not like that. It's been it's been in and out throughout the whole set. Yeah. And oh, nice. like the adaptation that Will Pickles and Sorry made. Uh you know, from the first game to this is great. Yeah. Oh, the back end. That's it. Yeah. Oh pit slapped him on the ass on the way out. And uh, sorry, Will Pickles take that in a rather convincing last game. Interesting. Yeah.